I, I, uh, if I, if I come, come, the number of times that I've come here and walked around here, and I've done it on four occasions, uh, the impression that I've always had and I've felt inside me is that this is a place of ghosts. It's a, it's a place uh, where men went through 12 months of their life or more, and their life was changed forever by being part of this. And now their ghosts are here. And um, it's a dramatic way of putting it, I suppose, but also the ghosts of 520 men that died in and around here. In the monsoon, it was continually raining here all the time, and this place was just washed, a wash of red mud. In the dry season, when it wasn't raining, it was just clouds and clouds of red dust in the air all the time. And after you've been here for about two months, your skin started to take a reddish tone because the red dust had built itself inside your skin, eaten into it. When you were here, you walk around in a pair of shorts with no shirt on. The reason for that was comfort, but also the, your skin could absorb sunlight, which was deprived of you on operations because you were continually in a shirt with the sleeves down. I was fairly sort of laid back. But the main point about it is in here you felt secure. The whole 11 kilometres around, around, uh, around it was um, four barbed wire, double coil fences of barbed wire. Every 50 metres was a machine gun post and down at various spots, down and around the base, there were artillery guns, artillery batteries. A battery is six guns, all sitting there, ready to support the troops on the, in the jungle. Behind us, you can't see it, it was the task force headquarters and that was a big steel building made of prefabricated steel. And as the years went on, more prefabricated steel buildings were actually built in the rubber. At the end of the war and in subsequent years, after the Vietnamese took back this base, they took every single sign of the fact that it was, a that it was a, an Australian task force base out. Every single bit was removed. But now today, it's almost exactly what it looked like in May 1966, when the first Australians came in here by helicopter and landed and spread out and started to establish the base. That was the 5th Battalion, Royal Australian Regiment, that came here. You could go and see the cinema, you could lay back on your cots in your tent, and at night you could go into the various mess halls and food halls, and you could drink beer and have uh, good meals. When you went out, the term used was outside the wire. If you went outside the wire, you were immediately in a threatening situation. You were going to confront the enemy. Vietnam, there was no front line and back line. Vietnam was a war that was around you all the time. It wasn't like the Second World War. There was no front and back, so you took ground and you took ground and you took ground. Vietnam, you were continually out in this province. Twice, between 1966 and 1972, 72 is when the Australians left here, twice the whole task force moved outside this province and went right past that mountain over there, right into the borders of another province. And that was during the Tet Offensive of 1968. And all that was left here was a skeleton crew to look after it. This task force base was too big to defend. And they knew after they established it, it was too big to defend with such limited numbers of men. So all the time, fights and battles were occurring out there. The task force commanders were aware that this base was under real threat. But at no time during the war, was it ever attacked, ever. Except on the night before the Battle of Long Tan, uh, VC and NVA forces fired mortars from over there and they dropped mortars inside this base. And what they did is that attracted an Australian force out to go and confront them. It was a deliberate ploy. And that's what resulted in the Battle of Long Tan. But all the other time, nobody ever tried to attack the space. Why? How do you explain that? Um, too big to take on. Um, too many people here to, to it. No necessarily advantage, except, except in that battle before Long Tan, there were two to three thousand VC NVA just on the just on the horizon over there behind that hill, and they were making their way here, and their intention was to attack the task force. The result was the Battle of Long Tan, fought 3,000 metres from the wire fences where that battle was fought. You weren't here, you weren't here then? No? I hadn't arrived then, I came a few months later. Well, we look, at, uh, we look at the Long Tan battle site, it's now a shrine and it's one of only two 
um, memorials to foreign wars on their Vietnam soil. That dog was not trained to detect mines, never had been. It wasn't a mine dog, it was a tracking dog. But something here, a concentration of smell combined with an explosive smell,